Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to wrap your gemstone with hemp string. I absolutely love to play with gems and to make jewelry. I have so many ideas that I'm not going to be able to put it, everything into this video. I'm going to make another video and I'm going to show you how and what you can do with not only hemp but other strings. I know that sometimes people just don't know what to do with their really cute painted rocks. So in my next video, I'm going to show you a bunch of ideas that I came up with for using this pattern. Today, I'm going to show you how to wrap with hemp. And this is going to be good for making necklaces. Let's get started. This is what you're going to need. Hemp string. A gemstone. Or you could wrap one of your painted rocks scissors, tape. The next thing I'm going to do is measure out three pieces of string at 57 inches each. I know that seems long, but it's better to have it long than not long enough. I want to make sure that I have plenty of string to weave into my necklace. The next thing I do is I fold it in half. We are going to be working with six strands of string. I only want a small loop and then I tie a knot. I just want my loop big enough to go over top of the finished knot in the end when I am done. Now I get a piece of tape and I tape down my loop and knot that I just made. I take two strands of string and I push them to the side. We won't work with them at first. We will only work with the four strands that are in the middle. We use two strands of string for the center. I usually start out with my right side and I make a loop and I go underneath the two center strands. I take my left strand, go underneath the strand that just made the loop, I go over and into that loop and pull it through and then I pull my knot tight over top of the two center strands. Now I do the other side. I make a loop with the left side and I go underneath the two center strands. I go up and inside of the hole that I just made, pull it through and then pull that knot tight. And we do two more stitches after that. Now we are done with our four stitches. Now we're going to work with all six of our strings. We're going to take the three strings on one side and separate them from the three strings on the other side. We are going to do the same exact stitch except for we're only working with three strings instead of the four strings in the middle. You get the string that you have not been using at all and you go underneath the center string of the three on the right hand side and you pull it tight. See the little loop? You do two stitches. Now you do the other side. We push the three used strands to the side and we work with the other three strands. You first use the string that we haven't used yet and you go under the center string of those three strands, get the other string and do the same exact stitch as you did the other side. And there's your loop. 
and then you do two stitches on this side. And that is how we do our pattern. And you continue that pattern until your rope fits your rock. And that's when you stop. Now I'm to the point where my rope fits my rock. When I think that my rope is long enough to fit around the outside of my rock, I stop at the end of the pattern. This way you know all your strings going across are going to be even. You take your two end strings and what we're going to do is weave these end strings in and out of the loops that we made on the outside of our rope. Now you can pull your four end strings and it will pull your rope tight. This will create a cradle for your gemstone. On one side I will tie two knots to pull it tight. Then I place my gemstone inside of the cradle. I get my other two end strings and I pull that side tight also. You want to make sure that your rock is going to stay inside of your cradle. I tie that side twice also. Then I separate all six of my strings again, three in one hand and three in the other. Then I tie a knot. Then I do it again on the other side of that knot. I gather all six of my strings and I put them inside of the loop. I push the loop down over top of the knots and we are done. I hope you enjoyed watching me wrap my gemstone today and I would love to hear from you if you give it a try. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next video on all the things that you could do with your wrapped rocks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Let's go to the spring concert! Hello guys, welcome! Hi guys, I'm so sweet! <laughs>